Good evening, everyone. Um, I am jumping on here to do part two of my series of how to be a great mom. And today I am talking about guilt. I talked about um, that this is what I'd be getting to in my last video. And today I'm going to talk about the mom guilt. Um, I, you know, I was talking about how seasons in life change and when your kids are babies, they need you all the time. And as they get older, they become more independent. And you know, that's a great phase, but there's a transition period that you have to go through as a kid and as a mom, and I'm sure as a dad as well. And what nobody told me, um, nobody prepared me for this actually, was that with this transition, you can feel a lot of guilt. A lot of that mom guilt that we we all struggle with from time to time. And right now in this phase in our life, this transition from my kids needing me to my kids not needing me as much, at least not in terms of, you know, I don't need to get them every snack. I don't need to help them tie their shoes all the time. I don't need to hold their hand while they play. Um, I am in the midst of like the biggest mom guilt ever. And I can't exactly tell you 100% why I'm struggling so hard, but I have an idea and that's what I wanted to share with you guys. So one, I don't know why mom guilt's a thing. Like I'm pretty sure it should be in the book of illnesses because it's such a big thing. And I, and I think with social media, we compare ourselves so much and it's, it's really hard. And this is, I'm going to tell you the story of why this series even came about. So in the last video I said, I was talking about how, you know, as my kids are getting older, as they're more independent, I have decided to focus on my business. Um, it's something that I didn't know where it would go when I started, but now I'm here and I don't know what to do with myself. I don't know what to do with my time besides sit on Facebook and be useless while my kids are playing in their playroom, watching TV, um, you know, reading, drawing, whatever. They don't need me and I didn't know what to do. So I kind of felt like it was time to do this for me because I do enjoy it and I love helping people and it's great for me but nobody told me that by going full-time taking my business to the next level that I would feel guilty about it no one told me that all of a sudden I would have this huge giant pit in my stomach about feeling like I was a failure as a mom as a mom because I'm sitting here at my well, it's really my dining room table, working. And I'm working hours, guys. Like, I'm doing some major behind-the-scenes scenes things that you guys aren't seeing, but it's, it's time-consuming. And, you know, I, I have to tell my girls, like, hey, give me another 15 minutes, and then I'll be able to do whatever. And it's causing this, this just horrible feeling of guilt. And what hit home was I, I was invited to go take my kid to the splash, splash pad with my friend. And I couldn't, I couldn't take them. I was busy, I was in the middle of like chaos on my desk and I was just in the groove and I didn't want to end that and I felt guilty. And I think this guilt comes and maybe somebody can relate with me. When my kids were little, like I'm talking like two, four, you know, those ages, a little, basically when Raylan was Payson's age and Payson was two years younger, um, I was like that awesome mom, the Pinterest mom, and the parties were amazing, and the decorations were great, and I was the mom that created the sensory bins with rice, and I would hide holiday things in there for them to dig out and scoop out and measure, and you know, I had cotton balls that they could pretend was snow, and they loved it. They still love it, but I was that mom. I was always, you know, coming up with a craft or letting them paint or playing with them with Play-Doh, and I don't have time for it anymore. Not every day, not all day long, and I just... I. I don't have time for it and it's really hard to not be that person anymore to transition myself into a parent that doesn't have time for all of that that is a working mom and I, I think that's really hard for me to grasp but on top of that I two times in one day guys I, I heard about moms painting rocks with their kids and hiding them around their town like, when did this become a real thing? I didn't know painting rocks and hiding them around town became like the coolest trend, but apparently it did. And I felt guilty for not doing this. The problem, I don't want to paint rocks with my kids and hide them around town. So why in the world am I feeling this horrible guilt? And I think it just comes from a place of, 
I was so used, I, I'm still so used to giving my all to my children. You know, it, it is a mom, you, you want the best for your kids and you will give them everything. And I've done that for so long and I still would give anything for my kids, but I decided to do something for me and I'm feeling selfish and I'm feeling guilty about that. And that's a hard place to be in. And if you've ever felt that way, no, you are not alone. And I think every mom goes through it. I just don't think every mom talks about it. But I am because <laughs> I like to talk about the things nobody else wants to talk about. But, you know, when our kids are transitioning and we're going out of the baby stage and out of the toddler stage, and, and my kids, I'm going to have a first grader and a pre-K four-year-old. Next year, my kids are both in elementary school. And we're transitioning that stage of life is ending and I my mind has not joined it um, I'm still trying to process that my kids are older that I actually have time to do something for me for the first time in seven years I have time to spend on me and I am working through this guilt feeling and I, I spoke with um, when well, I asked a question in one of the groups I'm in that's for moms that work and specifically um, that own their own businesses. And, you know, I posted in there asking if, if this is normal and like, how do you, how do you get through this guilty feeling? And one of the moms in particular um, posted about how, what if you accept the feeling of guilt and you work through it? And, you know, I was kind of doing that already, but sometimes when you hear it from someone else, it, it makes it a little easier to understand. So what that means is, even though I'm feeling this guilt, it's not going away very easily. Um, I have days where these moms are amazing on Facebook, you know, or on Pinterest, and I, I start feeling bad for myself. But I remember growing up, and I would spend the day at my grandparents, and my grandma would bake, my grandma would, you know, and she'd include us in these things, but she would bake, she would clean, she would do laundry, and all the grandkids, all of my cousins and I, would be outside for hours on end. And nobody entertained us. Nobody, you know, held our hand every minute of the day doing something. And I think sometimes in our society right now, we feel as moms, we feel a lot of pressure to do that. So what I'm doing to work through this guilt is I am finding the lessons that are happening for my kids during this transition. So I'm going to talk about this in part three, but um, to give you an idea of what I'll be talking about is, you know, when I'm sitting here working and I'm listening, I listen to my kids a lot. I listen to what they're talking about. I listen to the way they're communicating. Um, that's probably the teacher in me, but you know, I listen to this and, and, and see what they're learning. And before this mom told me about this, I was already kind of doing this where what am I teaching my kids in this stage of life by taking this time for myself, by working on my business? How many lessons am I teaching them through doing this even though I'm feeling guilty. So I'm allowed to have this feeling of guilt. You are allowed to feel guilty and selfish and that's okay. But my, my challenge is going to be to you to work through that. Work th through that and try to find the good in it. What values am I teaching my children right now through my guilt? What values and lessons are they learning by watching me sit here and work every day and spend pour my heart into what I'm passionate about and you know what can I take from those lessons and use to make that guilt less challenging so probably tomorrow I will be on to talk about part three of this if you want to know like the lessons that I feel like I'm learning through all of this what my, my my kids are learning please join me tomorrow and um find out what the last part of the series is going to be about and what I am learning about myself and my kids during this time of extreme mom guilt. So thank you guys for hopping on and I will talk to you later. Bye.